Whenever we see Zeno, he always has two guards beside him. Why is it always two guards and not one, and what purpose do they serve anyways? Surely if Zeno is so powerful, he would be stronger than any threat against him, right? So in this video, we'll cover two theories that explain why Zeno needs guards. What if Zeno doesn't actually have any fighting ability? What if he can only destroy large things like universes at once, but can't actually defend himself? Have you ever thought of Zeno's destructive power actually coming from a mystical or magical kind of power, rather than sheer ki as we traditionally think of it? Perhaps Zeno is truly more vulnerable than he looks. Take for example the time when he couldn't keep up with Dispo's speed. Although this is impressive for Dispo, it's kind of ironic that Zeno was able to keep up with Goku and Jiren's epic fight. Another example that makes us question Zeno's power is how the Grand Priest protected the Zenos from the effects of Goku's spirit bomb. Did he protect them only so they didn't have to bowl themselves, or was it actually really necessary? And in the Future Trunks arc, if Zeno can survive his own multiverse destruction attack and destroy a whole timeline with no damage, why would he need this? If Zeno does need protection, he would need extremely powerful guards. We told Goku that the Grand Priest has been stated to be one of the top five strongest in all the universes. Of course, the angels are weaker than the Grand Priest, so it's possible that Zeno's guards are also two of the strongest five as well. And it would mean they'd be light years stronger than any mortal or god that would try to fight Zeno. And even in the event of the god's skull going corrupt and fusing or all charging once at Zeno, the guards should be able to take them out because you wouldn't appoint weaklings to guard the pinnacle of the gods. So in summary, this first theory is that the guards are actually to protect Zeno. This second theory considers Zeno's apparent mental age and his desire to erase things that he doesn't like. This theory proposes that Zeno's guards are only there to make him happy like babysitters. They all know his power is dangerous in the hands of someone who's not mature enough for it, and always try to keep Zeno happy, containing his desire for destruction to the bare minimum. But this gives rise to two possibilities. One is that they are actually weaker than Zeno, but suppress his power through keeping him happy. The second is that the guards are actually stronger than Zeno, and they can stop him if he gets too Rambo. How many times have we seen Beerus or Whis warn about Zeno's mood swings? Maybe when they're calm, they look harmless, but if they get mad enough, they turn into something monstrous, like going through a transformation, something that actually needs the bodyguards to contain. However, in each of the two possibilities with this theory, there is one problem. The guards can actually be erased, as Zeno has threatened them on multiple occasions. I doubt that the guards looked fearful only because they'd made Zeno feel displeased. They quake with fear every time Zeno mentions erasing, so how could they do anything to stop Zeno doing it? This virtually rules out that the guards are stronger than Zeno, but does prove they are to make Zeno content. This was further proved when Zeno gave his guards a vacation. If they were to protect Zeno, they couldn't possibly have a break, as that may be the chance for a powerful enemy to strike. Yes, you've got the Grand Priest to protect Zeno as well, but the only being that could actually pose a threat is perhaps the very unknown Zalama. Personally, I think Theory 2 is correct, but regardless of which is, the button that Zeno gave Goku gives rise to a potentially risky situation. There are now four guards in the present timeline because of the two Zenos, but when the button is pressed, one or both Zenos are summoned without their guards. This suddenly means that either Zeno isn't protected, or the universes aren't protected from Zeno's power. The balance of order in the universes isn't maintained in these moments, and this is what Beerus worries about so much. In this situation, either Zeno could go Rambo for destruction, or a powerful enemy could charge at Zeno, which would actually be pretty epic for a Dragon Ball Super arc. Thank you guys for watching, definitely let me know uh, which theory you think is correct by commenting one or two down in the comment section below, but if you have your own theory, definitely drop it down there as well. Thanks, Kai Kai!